Hey there everybody and welcome back to another Blender tutorial. This result may seem complicated and hard to make, but I swear to god it's one of the easiest geometry node tutorials I have ever done. So let's get into it. So in Blender, go to geometry nodes, delete everything and add in a cube. I know we deleted the default cube, that's just to make you happy. Take the cube, make it a geo nodes object, and basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking a donut and doing things to it to make the result, which seems strange, but just follow along. I'm going to start with a curved circle. This is just to make the donut. I'm going to duplicate this, and by using a curve to mesh node, we can plug in both of these, and that's going to make a donut. Again, what's happening here is we have one circle sweeping along another circle so we can change the radius the inner and outer radius of our donut okay take this extrude mesh uh, now you can probably see where the idea is coming from right each face is going to have its own like island coming off of it in a sense or its own pillar and this is what's going to generate the result how do we get it to change over time all you have to do is change the curve tilt not uh, bringing in the curve tilt but setting the curve tilt and you can see as we change this we get this infinitely expanding thing this is how people do the infinite flower petal effect i assume um, so we're going to take this we are going to add we are going to add uh, first of all we're going to use the spline parameter so it changes as we go along this is what creates these nice spirals and second of all i'm going to add in time so it's we have the spiral and it's evolving over time. Now you're gonna notice there's a bit of a discontinuity here. This is because spline parameter goes from zero to one. So where one meets zero, we're gonna have a discontinuity. Uh, because this is using radians, just multiply this by two times pi for a full rotation. That's gonna fix that issue and still give us a bit of spiral. To make this more interesting, I'm gonna take the extrusion and randomize how much it extrudes. So let's say we go from 0.6 at most uh, to 0.2 at minimum, maybe 0.6 is a bit much, 0.4, and let's uh, reduce the number of divisions we have going on here so it's not as uh, overwhelming. Okay, uh, to clean this up a bit, I'm going to add in a subdivision surface. Uh, this is just going to clean it up and add a bit of, uh, you know, more distinct like flower petal looking geometry. You, by the way, you can use edge crease to uh, kind of keep the shape of this if you want. And another tip, by the way, is if you want to change the shape of this again, uh, you can uh, scale elements, the top of the extrusion, and this is gonna pinch it uh, to make it look thinner. And I think that's what you want. Um, at this point, you just basically change settings, but uh, to get the final render, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in a light source kind of in the middle of this donut, take the environment, bring it down to black, and then this is basically what we render, right? Uh, I set up a camera and all this. I used a bit of color uh, for my light source. I made it like slightly bluish, I believe, and made it a bit stronger. And this is exactly the kind of effect that looks way better in cycles. So I'd recommend doing it in cycles. Uh, let's just set up a camera just for demo purposes. Go to the camera view and uh, make sure camera, the thing I did, the camera two view is selected. That's going to make sure our camera evolves as we move it. And uh, that's basically the render, <laughs> uh, as you can tell. I'm trying to think if there's anything else to this. I mean, you can add depth of field. You can add in a bunch of stuff. Uh, but this is the result. Um, I would add in a third level of subdivision on render just to make this thing look smoother. Um, okay, thank you for watching. Uh, as always, this uh, blend file is going to be available on Patreon. Um, when you join the Patreon, wow, good pitch, Tom, good fucking pitch. By joining the Patreon, you get access to all the blends I've uploaded over the last three and a half years, early access to tutorials, exclusive tutorials. Check it out. It is the best way to support what I do here on CG Matter and Default Cube. Uh, I want to thank everybody who joined the Patreon. Even a dollar is amazing to keep this knowledge free on YouTube. And uh, that's it. Thanks for watching.